Mark verdict has held that an arbitration agreement can bind even on non-signatory parties. The court, while upholding the doctrine of group of companies, has said it was not necessary for a person or an entity to be a signatory to an arbitration agreement in order to be bound by it. Former CGI NV Ramana had referred the matter for reconsideration to a larger bench in May of 2022. Ashmit is standing by now to take us through the key contours of the judgment and the implications. Ashmit. Well, a landmark judgment coming in from the top court. Landmark because of the nature of issue involved, not so much because of the parties or the amounts in question. Landmark for commercial arbitration here in India. The question that was here before the apex court was, when there are two parties that are fighting it out in an arbitration proceeding, can a non-signatory who's related to any one of these two parties also be roped in, can also be bound under the very same arbitration agreement? That question has been answered as a yes by the apex court. The Supreme Court unequivocally holding that parties under the arbitration act uh, includes not only signatories to the arbitration agreement, but also non-signatories as well, uh, that the courts and tribunals should be at liberty, should be free to look at the case of the matter, to look at the issue of the facts of the case and then make a qualified decision on whether or not a non-signatory party can also be roped in. Here, uh, the judgment even dwelled on the fact on the commercial reality that very often artificially certain parties are tried to be kept outside of the loop of the arbitration agreement and that that is an exercise that the uh, courts and the tribunals should be able to look through. So the unequivocal answer of the apex court is yes, non-signatories can also be made material parties, can also be bound can also be made liable under the arbitration agreements and this is a hugely significant matter as this will have a bearing on all arbitration proceedings going forward in deciding whether only the signatories the parties in the agreement will be the ones to face the liability of the arbitral award or it could also be related parties or subsidiaries of the parties in question Ashwath Benny, thanks for joining us. Senior advocate Dushan Dave has written an open letter to Chief Justice.